Hello guys, in this video I would like to talk about the infamous Gordo Ryan uh, crunch smigashi or crunch, uh, shoulder crunch, butterfly sweep. Um, this is a technique that you usually can do when your opponent is low on their knees or they're trying to pass your guard and off guard. Uh, as I said in my previous video, the Choi Bar video, um, one of the tricks to get the shoulder crunch is to expose, uh, is to create a dilemma between upper body and lower body. So we saw that, uh, go your knees please, we saw that we can create a dilemma where I attack the lower body, he tries to stop me with a cross face, uh, other side, yeah, and then I catch the shoulder. But there's other ways you can catch the, um, the shoulder from a seated butterfly. So I find myself in a seated butterfly situation, uh, slightly lower. And you see, every time you, your opponent is like this, on his, uh, on his knees, uh, you can force him to put his hands on the floor. And putting his hand on the floor means getting his arm away from his ribs and create space for you to go under it. So, I'll just make an example backwards. If I push him backwards and he doesn't want to fall, he's gonna put his hand on the floor. The same thing can be done when you pull him forward, the hand is gonna come on the floor. So, what we do, we can do the, the dilemma that I told you about, or we can just pull his head and expose his arm and then go for an underhook. And this is called a uh, head pinch, if I'm wrong. And now we're gonna be in this position here, okay? When we take this arm away, it means that it doesn't have base on this side, and we can go for the sweep, okay? The first thing we do, we transition from a head pinch to a shoulder crunch. Now it's very important that when you have the shoulder crunch, you get the shoulder line, you are very tight to your chest, and the elbow stays straight, and the elbow is in front of his neck. We're gonna use the elbow after to create rotational movement pushing to his neck, okay? Another thing that is important, we don't want his arm to turn up. So if I stay like so, he can turn his arm up easily, rotate your arm towards the sky, yeah. But if I keep my elbow high to the sky, if he tries to turn, it's very hard. Now, for him not to escape the arm, you want his head close to his head, to your head. If his head gets higher for some reason, then he can pull his arm out easily, okay? So what we do, as we catch the, the arm, okay, we keep the elbow high and we crush everything to our chest. So if he now tries to get his head up, it's very hard. Now, of course, you're gonna have a butterfly hook, you're gonna have a support foot on the floor, and because it doesn't have a base on the side, it's gonna be easy to sweep. Now, don't just use the leg, pull him towards you, and then use the elbow and the leg to push him to the side. I found myself in a top position with another little karate. Okay. Now, that'll be uh, in this position here, we're fighting. Your, uh, your partner is very conservative with his arms. We force his arm on the floor. We anticipate that. We go for the head pinch. Now, from here, when we're ready, we start adjusting the shoulder crunch get the elbow high, everything to your chest. It is very important that you pinch the arm to your chest bone. So if he tries to get it out, it's very hard. If he tries to elevate his body, it's very hard. If you're like so, not really pushing into your chest, just holding the arm, it's very easy for him to start escaping. So make sure you have a good connection with your bicep to his shoulder, elbow to the sky, everything to your chest, other elbow in front of his neck. And now from here again, we load, by bringing to me, my back is curved, and then we start rotating, and we go on top. Now, sometimes it can happen that uh, he stands up while I is in this position, and I'm trying to sweep, and I cannot sweep. So from here, we can bring this foot on his thigh, push the thigh down, and still kill his legs, and get a sweep. Now, there's another famous move that Gordon Ryan did for the shoulder crunch to Miyashi, and that is the triangle. 
Um, and he used this move against uh, Bo Nicole, the, the wrestling champion, and he finished him exactly with this move. So what we're gonna do, as we get the shoulder crunch, so over here, pull him down, you get the head pinch, everything tied to your chest. When you're ready, you transition to the shoulder crunch. Now, the, the concept of the shoulder crunch from Igaeshi is to take the base away on the, on the right side, so it is whipping. But they can replace that, uh, that base with the foot, so it's gonna put his foot on the floor. Now, yeah, as I told you, I can push his knee down and try, but sometimes it's hard. So this time what we do, we still put our foot all over, on top of your partner, or on top of his hips. And because he's sustaining weight on the other side, or sometimes they're distracted, that allows you to pull your leg out and get the leg over the shoulder and close our triangle. Okay? And then, if you see, if you saw my video, or you can watch it, uh, the triangle video, you create a situation where my shin is higher than shoulder line. We grab the head, we open the legs. If we can grab the legs, we use that. If we cannot, we go under the belly and we create an angle where my shield line is higher than in shoulder line. Then we get the foot exactly behind the knee and we rotate the shield on the same side and we have everything aligned. And then make sure that his neck is connected to the back part of your knee to create the pinching on his arteries. And then as you pinch on his together and squeeze, the choke is quick. You don't even need to bring the arm across like the classic triangle. Let's do this one more time. I'm gonna do both techniques now. Number one. See here, I pinch and transition to my chest. I pull, pull, pull. Use the elbow on the left. Then try. Second one. Again. Shoulder crunch, this time I put his foot on the floor, I still want to sweep him, put my foot on his knee, I kill the base, I still sweep him. Last one, I still get the shoulder crunch, I put his foot on the floor, it's very hard to sweep, so we go on his hip, look, I kind of lower his body away from me, so I can get my leg easier on top of his shoulder. Because the trap triangle, pin the arm, create the angle, pinch on his neck, close, align, and quick tap. Good. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned from it. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Until the next one.